Hello everyone and welcome to an incredible game from round 6 of this year's Superbet Chess Classic. It just finished and it's uh, an incredibly uh, brief game, uh, 25 moves um, uh, in total, maybe even 24. Uh, let me just check, yeah it's 25, but it's um, a very very... Uh, <laughs> not an, it's not an everyday sight that something like this happens, it's basically as if you were... Uh, you know, walking uh, to maybe a supermarket, minding your own business, then you step into a puddle of mud, you look at the mud, you can't believe you just stepped into a puddle of mud, and, uh, you know, at the moment that you are... Uh, looking up again, a car hits you. That That's basically what happened in this game. And it's uh, very, very sad, of course, for the losing side. But for the winning side, it's great. And also for us, the, the viewers who enjoy the show. So let's check it out and see uh, what this is all about. And again, it features the names of Indian defense that transposes into a Ragozin, uh, but uh, still very, very good stuff. So Maxim opens with d4. We have knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, and bishop to b4. Alevon goes for the names of Indian, knight to f3 and d5, this transposes it into Aragozin defense, bishop to g5, and now uh, h6 is the most popular idea here, the Levon goes for d captures on c4, and this is um, I think becoming uh, uh, increasingly popular, uh, you, you want to play c5, you want to attack white central d4 pawn, and also you will have the a5 square available for your queen, you will put more pressure on c3, and also that bishop on g5 might be an issue in some lines. So here we have e4, grabbing the center. Uh, notice that uh, the e4 pawn can be captured. If knight captures an e4, uh, you are uh, grabbing a pawn, but then you blunder your queen. So don't do that. So here we have c5. This is the absolute best idea. Uh, bishop captures on c4 and now c captures on d4. So uh, like, like we've discussed, knight captures on d4 and now bishop captures on c3. So we will give up the bishop for knight to uh, mess up white's pawn structure. b captures on c3 and now queen to a5, attacking the c3 pawn and the bishop on g5. And here are many moves are possible, uh, some of the nicer ones, for example, you could capture on f6, uh, black will capture on c3, deliver check, and you can play king to f1, let's say g captures on f6 and rook to c1. So this is uh, one of the options. You're going to play queen to a5, now let's say h4, you want to play rook to uh, h3, bring the rook into the game. It's a very double-edged uh, and uh, black uh, shouldn't have um, any problems playing this. So uh, instead of this, you could also play knight to b5. You guard the c3 pawn, also you are threatening knight to d6 check. So what can black play here? We're going to play a6, allow this check, knight d6 check, king e7, and now, uh, again, you have a problem, your c3 pawn is hanging, and also the bishop here is hanging. So, bishop to f4 is the... Uh, the, the the move you want to play. You add more protection to the knight here and you are preventing queen captures on c3 because if queen captures on c3, now we move the bishop back with tempo uh, and now there is not much for, for black to do. Let's say queen a3, we're going to play e5 and now there is no good square for the knight. Uh, if uh, you, you go back with the knight, then it's a free bishop. Uh, you can't really go forward. You, you could play knight e5 but then queen g4 and the position is just uh, dead lost for black. So you have to be very, very careful here. Uh, instead, bishop to b5 check is played here. Maxim delivers uh, a nice check. Uh, we have knight b to d7, uh, and now comes bishop captures on f6. We have queen captures on c3 with check. King to e2, and this is very interesting. There are uh, thousands of games where king to f1 was played in the database. When I say thousands, I mean 168. Uh, but Levon plays king to e2. And this is now super weird. Why would you do this? Uh, probably you want to... Uh, meet queen to b2 check with queen to d2 and then if a queen trade happens you want to have your king nicely uh, in, in the center of the board and while well, you could play g captures on f6 uh, uh, then you allow rook to c1 then if queen to b2 check you can block with rook to c2 so it looks uh, like white might have something here so instead we have queen to b2 check queen to d2 and interestingly uh, here king to f1 and king to e3 are known moves uh, but queen to d2 the move that uh, maxim played is a new move so now it is only as of move 13 that we have a completely new game so queen captures on d2 11 trades here 
king captures and the g captures and f6 and i'll just rotate the c1 so if you look at the position now uh levon is up a pawn however maxim is up in development and his um uh, position is uh, maybe maybe more uh, enjoyable to play. Lebon has a doubled f pawn, but it doesn't appear to be a weakness here as you do control uh, a lot of squares. So it's uh, for Maxime to prove that this is anything for white. So here we have castles. Lebon castles the safety. Also, it will be easier to bring the rook into the game. The king is on the d file. Rook to c7 now, going for this very nice rook lift. Now the threat is just bishop captures knight. We're going to win a piece here. So rook to d8, defending the knight and the now king e3 we want to get the king away from the uh, open d file knight to b6 and now knight to b3 uh, we have f5 challenging this um, uh, pawn here of course we want to get rid of our doubled pawn so once we trade here we're just going to be up a clean pawn so bishop back to d3 uh, and now rook to b8 now you're going to be able to move your bishop as the rook also uh, helps uh, uh, in the defense of the b7 pawn uh, and here maxim has to play f3 you you can play also some like rook g1 you could play f3 there are a couple of uh, moves to consider here uh levon's position is better as he's just up a pawn uh, maxime doesn't really have um, any serious compensation for the pawn uh, but maxime plays f4 and here uh, Levon has a, a really, really awesome move. That's kind of the idea of stepping into the mud. Uh, <laughs> uh, this F4 move by by Maxime uh, and Levon plays E5. And now, what has happened here? Of course, Levon wants to play E captures an F4 check. The king will not be able to capture because the king has to keep an eye on the bishop on D3. So uh, basically, if you play something like Rook H to C1, we're going to capture an F4, and once the king moves, we're going to develop the bishop. And it's a, a very, very hard position for White to play. Play. let's say captures an f5 bishop to d5 and there is really uh well there's just not not a good plan here for white so instead after e5 we have f captures an e5 but now levon uh, executes pawn to f4 with check again the pawn cannot be captured as the bishop would hang so king to d2 uh, and now comes um uh, a king to e2 also very very uh, uh bad square because bishop g4 check and then you just allow black to further develop so instead after this um uh, f4 check king to d2 and now bishop to e6 uh, gaining more control over the c4 square so now you have to be careful knight to c4 check you will not be able to capture as the uh, the bishop is pinned so king to c3 and now rook b to c8 activating the the final piece rook captures rook captures with check and now you have to uh, go back king to d2 the game continues and the black is um, uh, much much better here however maxime played king to d4 and this is now a terrible terrible square this is the uh, getting getting hit by by the carp part so feel free to pause the video and uh, uh, try to find the absolute uh, best uh, winning idea for Levon basically the only winning idea but it is one that is most certainly um, uh, sufficient uh, while I give you a couple of seconds So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on uh, realizing that white has just stumbled into a mating net. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it is knight to a4. Uh, here, the knight on the rim is not a grim, but a rather a grim reaper, if you will. Uh, so yeah. Uh, that's the game hope you guys enjoyed it uh, uh <laughs> maxim definitely didn't and here his king is uh out of squares you can see that this pawn covers the e3 square the knight covers the uh, c3 and c5 squares the bishop covers d5 and c4 so the white king has no squares and the rook to d8 will be checkmate and since you cannot stop this uh maxim just resigned and that's basically the story of this game you could try giving up some material let's say you play bishop to c4 uh, but we're just gonna capture it rook captures on c4 king d3 let's say knight b2 check king will move king to d2 rook captures here everything just falls apart and of course uh you do not have um, yeah, enough to play this or if you try something like maybe knight to c5 uh we can just ignore you uh, for example knight c5 we still deliver this rook to d8 check knight d7 rook captures on d7 checkmate as there are no squares uh for the uh, for the white king so this is really incredible stuff uh and uh, tough uh, tough luck for for, for maxime so uh he had something in mind i guess it didn't work levon was extremely well prepared uh and uh giving up that pawn for some sort of an initiative uh, didn't really 
uh, proved to be uh, relevant at any point. So he was basically just a pawn down. Uh, but yeah, the the entire game can be uh, summarized basically into two parts. Uh, uh, this uh, f4 move by Maxim that allowed e5, which is just a beautiful, beautiful move to spot. If you don't spot this, black really doesn't have all that much. But once e5 is played, uh, then white is just in a terrible position, which makes it uh, more likely that you will, uh, you know, uh, make an even greater mistake like king to d4. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's, uh, that's the game. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to wish a very happy birthday to uh, Rodolfo NRC LB. And I would like to thank Claudio Brovelli and Alessandro Bossi, Yogesh Patki donating because it is the strongest move, uh, Per Solvaken and Tarek Aldalal for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. Uh, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching and I will see you soon continuing the coverage of this spectacular event uh, until it finishes. Uh, so thank you all. I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day.